Good afternoon. Welcome back to this week's Content Classroom. This week, I want to share with you the behavioral science principles as to why video particularly means you can generate consistent business over time. Bear with me a little bit, because for this video, I wanted to be a little bit more researched, a little bit more scientific, because there is a lot of science that backs up the things that I talk about. I generally talk from the heart and I love unscripted. However, I think this week it's important to underline that I'm not just talking about my own personal experiences. There is some scientific principles that underpin a lot of this that you should be aware of that will help you understand why, particularly for senior target audience, video is the medium of choice. So one of the things that I like to talk to people about is that video helps you humanize the brand. What do I mean by that? A lot of businesses try unsuccessfully to spend a lot of money on advertising their business, their logos and their website and their colors and their design. That's great. But people don't connect with a brand, faceless logo, uh, an office building, um, your office is inside. Like none of that matters to people when they're trying to connect. So video helps you put a real face to the business and it helps your viewers feel connected. And unlike sort of text or images, if you're a leader and speaking directly to camera, that humanizes the company and it humanizes you. And they see the people behind the scenes who they're buying into and it makes it more relatable. So borrowing from behavioral science, we know that people trust faces and voices and nonverbal cues more than written content interesting. And I'll dive into that a little bit more. All of the behavioral science principles, I'll dive into a little bit at the end. The other thing that video is really good for is building that emotional connection. So trust, as I'm sure you know, is built through emotional connections. And video, unlike any other medium, allows people like yourself and like me to express their passion, right? I often get hung up on people who talk to me and then they're like, yeah, I want to do video, Paul, but I just want to talk about the business. I just want to talk about the features and benefits and you know, and everybody's super passionate. I get it. You've just spent three months creating your website and your pitch deck and all the rest of it. However, if you're not talking about a subject which you're passionate about, not the features and benefits, the things that underline why you do what you do, the mission that you've, you're on as a business and your values, you can do well. You can express all of that with authenticity on video. And I think that's really important. Emotional resonance, another behavioral science principle, is absolutely critical for trust. So people are much, much, much more likely to align with a business that they feel emotional connection to. And that's what all the big businesses do. They've got huge marketing budget to help them do that. We don't, right? So we've got to make the most of what we've got. What you've got is you and people. A lot of you will say this, right? I'm great when I get in front of people. It's getting in front of them that's the hard part. That's what video does. It helps you get in front of them. Nonverbal communication, right? So video captures body language, eye contact tone of voice, and all of that helps convey sincerity and trustworthiness, 100%. Only if you believe what you're saying, right? So you can't just read a script, have people believe that you think what you're saying is the real deal. They'll be able to tell the difference. But those visual and auditory cues trigger positive emotional responses that then reinforce your message's credibility. So it's less about what you say, it's more about how you say it. And that comes with practice. So, you know, another stumbling block a lot of people come to is I just don't know how to get started. You get started by pressing the go button and releasing it into the wild. And then only from there do you get better. Behavioral alignment. So seeing someone in action allows the audience to judge their behavior against their expectations. Wow. What does that mean? Okay. So behavioral science suggests that we trust people who exhibit consistent, authentic behavior. If what I say I'm going to do aligns with what I actually do, and you can see me doing that, then you believe in me, right? You might not need my services, but you will believe that I'm an authentic person because I do what I say I will. And I've said this for a long time. Everybody out there can make a lot of money by doing three very simple things. And that is doing what they said they would, how they said they would, when they said they would, right? So many businesses fall over at that hurdle. But video gives you an opportunity to demonstrate alignment between your words and your actions. Breaking through the expertise barrier, right? This is a really important one. Video gives business leaders like yourselves uh, a platform to showcase your expertise without feeling like 
you're patronizing or talking down to your audience. Right, it's nice and easy. Like if you're writing it in a text-based post, you know how context is important. And like everybody's being victim of cracking a joke in a, in a message to someone and it coming across the wrong way and you fell out with them, right? For, for however long, right? I've done it to my wife. I've, I've done it with my mum. I've done it with good friends, right? Like it's awful. And, and you learn over time what sort of things you can and can't see in those messages and what you should probably better do is a call or not at all sometimes. Video gives you the opportunity to exhibit behavioral cues like gestures, tone, pace, and that can make, especially when you're talking about complex ideas, it can make those ideas seem much more approachable and relatable. Authenticity and imperfection. This is my favorite of all, right? This is, this is so, so important if you're listening to this, right? Behavioral science shows that small imperfections such as minor stumbles in speech, informal settings, uh, uh, can actually increase trust, right? And I once saw some research by gong.io that said that when a guest on their sales conversation swore first and the salesperson then swore afterwards, they aligned better. They, they could see that they were compatible because they felt the same thing. It's not a case of swearing, swearing sake, but it's mirroring what other people are doing. And video gives you that opportunity to just be honest and just go like, this is the real deal. I swear, right? Like I don't swear for effect, but you'll, if you watch my live streams, you watch my podcast, you know, what I do swear. So people who align with me can see that I'm not perfect. But they can see that I'm genuine. It gives you the opportunity to do that without having that, that impersonal barrier that, that sometimes corporate speak can bring. And it just allows you to be authentic and much more relatable. And then lastly, familiarity breeds trust. So repeated exposure to a particular person via video content creates familiarity and awareness, which is the first key building block for building trust. And behavioral science supports the idea that people trust what they see often. And that's called the mere exposure effect, which means that making regular video communication is a really, really powerful trust building tool. Now, I know I said when I start this newsletter, it's part of my imperfection. I plan to tell you about the behavioral science aspect. I'm not because this is eight minutes long already and you're not going to watch it if I make it any longer. So I'm going to stop here and I will put the behavioral science principles in the newsletter below and I will see you next week on the content classroom. Let me know what you think about the points that we've raised today and how that makes you feel about reaching your target audience. Is it enough to tip you over the edge to actually getting started? I hope it is. It should be because if you're listening to this, you're living proof that it works. Thanks. Bye-bye.